The Temptations Paul Williams fought horrible disease and died tragically at just 34 in 1973. Inside his life and death, Paul Williams was an obvious talent of his generation and was one of the key players of the Motown group, The Temptations, but his life was marred by sadness and ended quickly. On our channel we feature such videos. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for such. Williams was born on July 2, 1939, in Birmingham, Alabama, and from an early age, Williams loved music and wanted to do nothing else but sing. He met Eddie Kendricks while in elementary school, and both boys bonded over their mutual musical interests. The duo formed their first musical group, The Primes, and moved from their hometown in search of work after a while. Unfortunately, The Primes did not find the success they had hoped for and were later disbanded, with everyone returning home. But that was not the end of their musical aspirations. The group changed their managers and soon rebranded as The Temptations. Before long, they became one of the biggest bands of their time, bringing out hits after hits. The band signed to the young Motown label in 1961, and their song, Oh Mother of Mine, was nothing short of spectacular. Although Kendricks proved to become a bigger name, Williams and Kendricks were the lead vocals for the song. In their early years, Williams was the lead singer of the group, but once David Ruffin joined the band, he began to play third fiddle, and Ruffin and Kendricks enjoyed the spotlight. While the group enjoyed success and fame, not many fans knew that the talented Williams had a secret struggle. He suffered from sickle cell anemia, and this illness caused him pain and proved to be a difficult experience for him. Later on, his troubles increased as he turned to alcohol to cope with the band's touring schedules and recording sessions. Soon after, he also began to have money problems. In 1971, The Temptations had become one of the biggest of the time and produced several chart-topping songs, but by then, Williams' health had turned for the worse. His doctor advised him to leave the group on the medical ground after a spot was found on his liver. The news was a bitter pill for Williams, leaving the group he founded worsened his problems. However, he remained a part of their circle and helped with their choreography. Also, he decided to put his talent to good use and started recording solo materials, but things had peaked in his private battles. At age 34, Williams was found dead in a car in Detroit with a gun by his side. His death was ruled as suicide, but there are suspicions of foul play. What we know is that Williams left his girlfriend's house after an argument and hours later, his body was discovered in a parked car in an alley, having suffered a fatal gunshot wound to the head. According to his bandmates, he had expressed death thoughts in the months leading up to his death, making suicide all the more plausible. He was a man reeling from alcoholism and chronic pain who had just been rejected by an industry that had provided him with a career and a sense of purpose. He left behind eight children. While the circumstances surrounding William's death seemed to support the theory that suicide was the cause of death, the police report from the scene and the investigation that followed did not. According to police investigation and the coroner's report, Williams had used his right hand to shoot himself in the left side of his head, which not only seems unnatural, but anatomically difficult. In addition, a bottle of alcohol was found on his left side, as if it had been dropped when he was shot. Further investigation determined that the gun found at the scene had been fired twice, however, no other bullet holes were found at the scene. These circumstances cast some doubt on the shooting having been done by Williams, himself. However, the evidence was not strong enough to reopen the case. Despite the questions surrounding his death, he remains a hero of music. Thank you for watching, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. See you on the next video. We acknowledge ultimate-guitar.com and news.amomama.com as our source of information.